Scopal from 247 Sports. Oh, it said this, this one needs to hurt. A, does it hurt? And I guess, how do you move on from this and, and make sure that you guys get your head tracked for, for the next couple of weeks? Well, it definitely hurts. Uh, we play to win the game. Uh, we want to be one and we, we didn't do that today. And so we apologize to the alumni, guys that have come before us. And it's just on us, you know, as a collective unit. And it definitely stays in. But the thing is, we're going to bounce back from this and come back harder than ever. This, this isn't us, and we're better than this, and we know we're better than this. So just about to bounce back and have good practices and meetings and correct it and move on. That's all we can do is correct it and move on. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Ron, I realize this is mainly a front seven issue, but when you know you have to stop Jamar Jefferson, as good as he is, what was it that allowed him to still top 220 yards tonight? Um, he, he had a good game today. Uh, very physical runner. Does a great job of keeping his feet alive and keeping him moving no matter who hits him. So it's just about game tackling. Uh, we, we had some good moments. We had some bad moments, but it's just about bouncing back, correcting those things, and, and moving on, like I said. Aaron Fentress, we're going. Hey, Verone, you guys got a big stop then late, then they got the ball back with, with a chance to score, and they were able to sort of find different holes in the zone and move the ball kind of methodically on you. What was going on in terms of the coverage, and were you guys uh, hoping to get more pressure on them on that drive? Uh, you know, we, we mixed it up with zone and man. Uh, just sometimes, you know, they get a little bit open, and we just got to be better, honestly. We got to be better at looking up the routes, knowing the field zones, and knowing where we need to be on certain down and distances. So something that will correct it that will get fixed, but uh, they just did a great job tonight. So. Eric Scopel, 47 Sports. Verone, first loss this season, second loss in Pac-12 play in a while. Does this hurt a little bit more, though, because it is Oregon State and it is a rivalry game? Definitely. Um, with the big rivalry game, this is something that, you know, the state of Oregon looks at all the time. And for us to not win this game, it, it's tough. Like, like I said, it's, it's tough. And we got to do a better job ourselves of making sure that we capitalize on different moments in that we don't get down or anything like that, that we always got to keep pushing forward and moving on to the next play. The next play can't help or hurt you to play before. So it's all about the next play. Tyson Alger, The Athletic. Between between the reviews and the timeouts, like how long did it feel like that you guys were were on that goal line, like having to prepare yourselves to, to make make a stand there? Um, it did. It did feel kind of long. We I, we didn't even realize what they were reviewing, what they were looking at. We thought we had the ball. We, we don't know, but we were just getting ready for that next – that next snap, we know we're backed up. We know we don't have a lot of grass behind us, so we know where we need to stop them. So, you know, just making sure that we're, we're ready to go. But it's just tough. James. Ron, I know you guys don't make excuses and you're confident in each other, but how difficult was it to maintain chemistry in the secondary when Jamal's not there? It's, it's every week somebody's not there for at least a half. Pickett goes down for at least a half. I mean, guys are – I mean, bottom line is you're testing your depth throughout the course of the game. Was it tough to maintain chemistry in the secondary, even knowing who was out there? Uh, no, it wasn't tough to maintain the chemistry. Um, we, we all do different rotations and mixes throughout practice. So it's always about next man up. Uh, like I said, we're a close unit. Uh, we, we study together. We watch a lot of film together. So there was really no drop off. Next man in, you make sure to communicate everything and that we're all on the same page. So it was fine. Eric. I know expectations were really high for this unit this year, and, and I think through four games, probably pretty disappointed. Do you guys, I guess, how do you turn this around? I mean, does it feel disappointing? And, and I guess just what's the key in, in, in getting it back on track? Um, it's, all, it's all about accountability. Uh, we got to look ourselves in the eyes and look at each other and realize what we need to be better at and what we need to emphasize. You can't just put this on the coaches because they put us in position to make the plays, and we, we got to execute. It's all about execution at the end of the day. So. We kind of got to have to come together and realize, like, look, we're, we're not doing well here or we're not doing well here, and that we need to emphasize the little things about it because the little things can turn to big things. So just emphasize the little things, and I think we'll be okay. James. We're on to the big picture. You're somebody who puts in a lot of time in the film room. What are some of those little things? Why is this defense, I realize, again, a young group, but why is this defense not performing at the level it was a year ago? Um, I, I would just say that. I mean, from what you've seen, sometimes gaps are open. Sometimes our coverage needs to be tighter. Sometimes we need to do a better job of looking up where, where the route is in our zone defenses, tighter man coverage. So it's on everybody. We're not just going to blame the front. We're not just going to blame the secondary because we work together. So being able to build on all three of those levels from the linebackers run through, from the D line, making sure they step and tear off, 
get off the blocks. We got to get off the blocks as, in the perimeter as a secondary as well. So it's on everybody, and those are just things we all got to improve on. That's all we have for you, Vron. Appreciate your time. Thank you.